Paul, do you want to get us started? Absolutely. Uh, uh, Braxton, uh, can, you, can you just talk about uh, that, that first game and uh, trying to get out of the gate? And uh, obviously, the, the weather wasn't ideal there either, right? <laughs> Yeah, the weather definitely um, isn't softball weather, but, you know, sometimes you just have to roll with the punches. Um, I think more than anything, we were just super, super excited to finally get out on the field, you know, the first time in over 300 days. I don't know the exact number, but just, you know, a crazy amount of time that we were away from the game. And um, I think all the excitement that we had last year and, you know, through the quarantine period and even through the fall, I think it was just building up, building up until that first game that we could finally get on the field. And um, it was just super, super exciting and humbling to finally be out back out there. What well, what was it like to you know the the obviously the games ups and downs. Obviously, you you get in a hole and then you're able to kind of put things together and get back in front. Um, what what do you feel like allowed you guys to 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 kind of get back and and get back into the lead uh, there? Yeah, I think we just kind of stayed within ourselves and we kind of kept chipping away and chipping away and, you know, as, as far behind it as seven runs as we got, we just felt like we were still right there, you know, and then within one inning, we pulled back and went ahead by one even. So um, I just think with our offense, with our defense, with our pitching, just with every act aspect we don't ever feel like we're out of a game you know no matter what the score is and I think it just kind of showed right there in that one inning whenever we just made such a jump and kind of closed that gap within the seven run lead okay What's up? hey Braxton um what do you guys look for now as you uh head down to Arlington and the games that you guys are going to play because obviously you were hoping for five games under your belt before this second week there's only one so you know what what do you take from that one game to implement and improve on this week yeah so first and foremost I think we you know are kind of just taking a step back and we're just controlling the aspects that we can control you know we can't control the weather um, we have, we have no say over that, you know, we, um, obviously are always hoping for warmer weather and softball weather, you know, so we can, we're able to play at the best of our ability. So as far as that goes, you know, there's just really nothing we can do with, do about that. Um, as far as going into this weekend and, you know, looking back at the Oklahoma state game, the one game that we played, um, I think we're just trying to build off that, you know, we have a lot of, I mean, it's game one, <laughs> game one of, you know, 50 plus games. And so, you know, we're not going to win anything with that game. We're not really going to lose anything with that game, but what we can do is we can learn a lot. Um, and I think, you know, we weren't clean on defense. Um, we, we did some really, really good things at the plate. We weren't, we didn't pitch as well as, you know, we should be, but like I said, it's game one. And I think just going back and kind of recapping that game, everybody just has one small thing that we can take away. Um, and that's super important. And so I think that's what we're going to carry over to this next weekend. Yeah, to kind of build off that, how great of a measuring stick was it to go up against the number 10 team in the country and play the way that you guys did? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's no better way to open the season. <laughs> um, you know, you you know, to be the best, you're going to have to play the best and to be the best, you're going to have to beat the best. And um, I think it was a it was a nice challenge. You know, game one, of course, they weren't as clean as they were going to be. Game one, we weren't as clean as we were going to be. But, you know, it's nice to go out there to have good, solid competition, you know, to put us to the test very first thing and just kind of see where we are. Braxton, thank you. Jordan. Hey, Braxton, what does this team do really well that you can tell from just kind of facing each other and then the one opponent? And what do you guys need to improve on that you can maybe get started on this weekend? Yeah, um, number one, we are super competitive. <laughs> Every single one of us from top to bottom. And, you know, I kind of feel like that. Um, we were forced to find this competitive nature in the fall because we weren't playing other teams. It was Arkansas against Arkansas, Razorbacks against Razorbacks. You know, it was just us against our teammates, us against our friends. And we had to find that competitive edge to really raise the bar in the fall because we didn't have the competition, the outside competition that we usually have. And I think that just pays dividends for us um, in the spring. You know, like I said earlier, you just have to roll with the punches and we weren't able to play, you know, outside competition. So absolutely making the most of what we could do. And that was play against each other. And as hitters, we were able to make our pitchers better. Our pitchers were able to make our hitters better. And, you know, defensively all around, we got better. Um, as far as what we need to improve on, I think we can always improve on dealing with adversity. We've talked about it time and time again that this season is just going to be full of adversity. And the game of softball is full of adversity anyways. But then you throw in the weather and you throw in COVID. And, you know, there's just a lot of ups and downs and everybody's dealing with it. And so 
you know, really in the end, the team that deals with the adversity and the challenges and the ups and downs and the change of schedules and the weather and COVID, you know, whoever deals with that best is who's going to come out on top. So just kind of learning to roll with the punches the best we can and control what we can control and anything outside of that, you know, we just have to go with it. Um, I'm good. All right, anyone have any more for Braxton? All right, we'll get Coach Stifle up in here in just a couple seconds. <laughs> 